Hey, how's it going, geeks? Welcome back to the channel. Before starting off the video, my throat is kind of wonking right now. I'm trying to get over a cold, so just bear with me if I start mumbling. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use XMR Stack. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for this for a good while now. And uh, the reason why I hadn't posted it was because A, I got sick, <laughs> and B, I made an entire video showing you guys how to use version 1.4, but then I decided just to throw all that away since uh, I figured it'd be best to show you guys how to use the newest version instead. So we're going to be using version 2.1, which is XMR Stacks Dual Miner. So you will be able to use both NVIDIA and AMD on the same rig using this miner right here. Similar to Claymore's Dual Ethereum Miner. This is a dual miner for Kryptonite. So it's pretty darn cool. Uh, there's not a whole lot of information out there. If you go on YouTube, you won't find a tutorial for this. So I figured it'd be helpful for you guys. I always enjoy it just you know helping you guys out because I know a lot of this stuff is really confusing so the first thing we're gonna want to do is download the file I'll put all the links down below like I always do once we have our zip file in our desktop the next thing we're gonna want to do is extract it once we have our file extracted we're gonna double click it we're going to open it and you're going to notice all these uh, text documents and batch files. Uh, down below you can see it has both CUDA and OpenCL support. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to do is click on the executable down here. We're going to hit yes. And it's going to open this page. You can just close it. It's pretty much telling you it ran administrator mode for you guys. Um, just close out of that. In this step right here, depending on whether you're going to mine Kryptonite or Kryptonite Light, you're going to choose between Monero or Ion, Aeon. Not really sure how to pronounce it. But in this case, we're going to be mining Electroniums, which is Kryptonite, not Kryptonite light, so we're gonna type Monero. Next thing we're gonna want to do is get ourselves um, our pool address. In this next step, depending on whether you're using Supernova or a pool that requires login information, you're going to either type your login and your worker name, or else you're just going to paste your address. Um, in this case, the pool I'm using just uses the address itself, so I'm not going to have to put any worker info or anything like that. And then we're going to type X for password. Uh, this I'm not sure if the pool supports TLS or SSL, but either way, I'm not going to use it, so I'm just going to type now. Do you want to use nice hash? Of course I don't. <laughs> we don't want to use multiple pools either, so we're going to type now. So what we just did right now is create our configuration file. And it's detecting all of our graphics cards. In this case, I have seven. And then next, it's going to create the work size. 
for the cards and it's going to start mining. For most cards, this will be perfectly fine. You just let it do its thing and it's going to start mining on its, on its own and you're pretty much done. But for the Vega cards, since we have to split both of the threads um, for the HBM, we have to use two device IDs per card. So I'll show you guys in a little bit. So as you can see right here, we're only hashing around 9K or so, which is obviously not right. So let's uh, add the other threads real quick. The way we're going to do that is by clicking this AMD text document up here. We're going to open it. And we're going to see all the GPU threads. Uh, the miner are created automatically. What it thinks is the optimal settings for the card, which are not correct. As you can see right here, we're only using four gigabytes of the memory. So we're going to divide this into two threads. We're going to copy this. gonna press enter and then we're gonna paste it we're gonna keep the same index name we're gonna change the first intensity to 2016 and the second intensity to 1800 and we're gonna do this for every single card so you're gonna have two threads per card so if you have four cards, you're going to have eight threads. So it's going to be 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 for all eight cards. In this particular case, if you go all the way down here, I have up to index six because I have seven cards in this particular rig. And unlike the old miner, this thing has divisions right here showing you the compute units and whatnot so it's a little a little annoying you can't just copy and paste the entire string so i'm gonna go ahead and do all of this manually for you guys and down below in the video i'll just clean it up and paste it on there so you get you guys don't have to come in here and manually change everything Quickly before showing you guys the next step, if you ever need to change your configuration file for a different coin, all you have to do is click on this config file. Right after pressing the executable, we did the whole terminal steps with the pool address and whatnot, and it created this little file up here. So you double click on this, and in here it saves your pool address your pool password and your wallet address so all you do is replace these lines right here with a different pool different address and a different password alright so as you guys can see I went through the entire file and I have two threads per card So I'm going to close out of this and I'm going to click on the no CPU batch file. Or if you want to use the CPU, you can just double click the executable down here. But I don't want to use the CPU, so I'm going to click this, hit yes, close this page once more. And it's going to start creating two threads per card.
And there we have it. We have a total of 13 threads, 0 to 13, which is 14 total, and which means two threads per card, which adds up and makes sense since I have seven cards right now. And you can see we're hashing 14K, so it's working really, really well. It dips a little bit. I think uh, after a day of using this miner, it kind of sits around here. 13.97 or so. As you can see, we're getting good results. No errors or anything. You can check your hash rate by pressing H and your results by pressing R. And that's all there is to it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Drop a like down below if you enjoy the content. Peace.